To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you for joining me. Happy hump day or Thursday if you're watching on Thursday. I got my Manny Pacquiao shirt on just, just because. It's something that Megan gave me and I love it. Uh, I got my breakfast here. Um, just part of my breakfast. I got um, oatmeal uh, from Quakers. This is steel cut. Brown sugar and cinnamon flavor. Delicious stuff. Also got my orange juice over here. And um, I was asked by someone if I'm growing my mustache out. Yes, I am. Um, I've been growing it out for almost two weeks now. And it looks like this because last time I got my hair cut, which is the end of last week, the guy trimmed up my beard and my mustache, so it looks a lot nicer. Just trying to get the middle thing filled in. I call it the anti-Hitler. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. It's a beautiful day outside. sunny. It's supposed to get up to like 81 today. That's ridiculous. It's so warm for right now. But thank God for daylight savings time because that means that we get more actual daylight. It's much more enjoyable, especially if you're trying to go out and do stuff. This is my day away from the office. Um, I chose to do, I choose to do it this way. Um, just every Wednesday, I take the day away from the office to focus and um, be able to get more stuff done. I just need to really crack down on, on certain things related to IT. I keep on looking at this. I got a thing from Chipotle. I get a free burrito, burrito bowl, a salad or order of tacos. And they also give um, like a free side order of chips and salsa if I get one of the other things that I just mentioned. So free stuff all around. And let's get all the way through the middle of May. So I think I'm going to be waiting until Meg comes back in town to use that. Right now she's up in New Jersey for spring break. I'm just waiting for her to get back. We had interesting conversations just the last few days about me moving to Florida. I'm trying to figure out like when is the right time to do it. It's going to be somewhere between like now and August. I have picked May because that's four years after the time that I started the DCP, Disney College Program, back in 2012. I'm not really sure if it's the right time to go. It's just like the time that I picked. And also because my friend Andrew is like really waiting on me. It's this whole situation where I just, I want to, I want to do the right thing, you know. I told Megan that I would rather do the right things adequately than do the easy things or especially the wrong things beautifully. And that's just something that I heard from Randy Pausch, a guy who used to be an Imagineer, and he also, I think, worked for NASA for a little while, but then he became a professor, and that was what he did for the rest of his life. A time management guy that I look up to, that's just the way that I see things, you know, just do the right thing, and I'm trying to do that the best I can. That's the way I always try to do. I'm not looking for the easy way out. I mean, like, if you guys have ever struggled with the whole thing of moving away from a significant other, whether it's girlfriend or boyfriend, or even husband or wife, you know, I'm fully committed and I don't love a career more than a person and that's what I've been trying to say. But I would love to hear back, like, any feedback from anyone who's gone through that experience of you got an offer for a job or, like, you're just pursuing a career and that's the move that you're making is you're pursuing your career and it means moving away from, like, a significant other. Do you take it or do you... I don't like the idea of, like, placing one above the other but it's like, I'm not even going to be there forever. I'd love to hear back, like, what you guys suggest if you guys have experienced that before so just let me know comment below so we're back home uh, I actually got home a while ago but I wanted to say hi I just did my laundry I got my stuff up here for my bed and everything everything's kind of like on the floor I have to put all that stuff down there um, up there so uh, I'm gonna do that in a little while um, I had to get some water because I haven't had enough water today but I went to um, tropical smoothie cafe which is kind of a popular thing. I got the peanut paradise smoothie with whey and multivitamin in it and I also had the Thai chicken wrap but that was my quick stop lunch. It took forever. I got up to the drive through someone like got in front of me because I wasn't paying attention for literally about five seconds. I looked down at my phone someone just like went up and down my spot just because the drive through is so small and the parking lot is massive and the little area that you would wait in the whole situation was really weird. I ended up just going in and getting my stuff and I got out before the guy that cut me got out so I was like okay mission accomplished went off to Barnes and Noble got a couple things done there and it's been a beautiful day like I said um, we had a high of like 81 today still really nice outside you guys can tell it's super sunny out there um, and yeah so I'm just gonna get a couple more things done here I'm pr probably gonna take a nap hey 
so I'm back home and uh, I was uh, at Starbucks for a while because we didn't have internet here and I had stuff that I really wanted to do. It was very interesting actually. It was definitely one of the more interesting trips I've taken. I was next to a, a table with three people a good like two hours. It was a guy and two girls. The guy was very introverted and the two girls were very extroverted. They were talking about film stuff like acting, directing. It was almost like an interview type thing at first. Kind of like are you interested type thing. Bottom line is it was very intriguing to me to see someone who was truly introverted kind of like revealing himself to two very extroverted girls. There was no like dating interest or anything as far as I could tell. It was just they were getting to know the guy. It just took so long for this guy to kind of like reveal the simplest detail. Like something that's simple to someone more extroverted like me or like anyone else who could be extroverted. Most of the people that I hang out with are more extroverted than introverted. They're very not afraid to like share different things about themselves and to like just lay it all out there. So to see someone who was actually like 90% introvert, it was very interesting because it's something that I would consider very simple details to reveal about myself. It took him a long time to kind of unwind and I, I could go into detail about different things but just for the sake of someone else's privacy I'm not going to. It was just very intriguing to me. I even shared it with Megan. I'm like, I've never seen this before. But anyway, fun fact, Lumos Networks is okay at best. I'd give them like a two out of five stars, maybe, based on service. Depending on the service, I don't know, it, everybody's is different, but the community that we live in, Lumos has kind of like a monopoly. It's like a deal that they have. Everyone in Cornerstone has Lumos. You have no other choice but to have Lumos Networks. I'm already like, okay, great. We're all stuck with the same one. That's where it sucks is because we're paying this money and all of a sudden a little storm blew through. Everybody lost power for one second. Came back on. At least half of the people's internet also went down. Internet, cable, whatever other service you're getting with them. The fiber just went down. And I spent a combined 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not kidding. Got it on my phone. Two different phone calls just trying to get the internet going back up. That's why I went to Starbucks for a couple hours. I was just trying to get some stuff done. Come home and someone from the most had called me just to do simple rebooting one of the devices. They gave us a router. Like five bucks for this thing. So I was already like, great. This is going to be like a little nothing. And it basically is. It can only barely get through like one wall. It barely reaches me and I get like terrible service with their router. So I already had a Netgear router installed it right over there behind that, that TV. That's how we get our internet because the router that I got does a heck of a better job than the one that Lumos provided. Smart RG is the brand of routers, I guess, that they were using, and <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about it. Our internet is back, that's the bottom line, but our cable is not. We can do everything on our TVs except to watch TV. So, I, I don't really watch much TV anyway, that's okay, but still, paying for your services, ready to get out of Lynchburg. Reason number, throw out a number, get in line, that's, that's the number. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be calling it a night, um, as far as the vlog is concerned, going to be editing and trying to get as much editing done as I can, I might not be able to post this by like super early in the morning when I usually have it scheduled, but I'll try to get it up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.